Hey, what's up everybody? First and foremost, thank you to all the new subscribers who have joined my channel since my last video. And if maybe this is one of the first videos you've watched and you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications because it really helps out the channel. And I have a really quick video for you guys today. I have decided to review my Firehawk FX. I uh, use it at the church I work for because we use, have a completely silent stage except for the bass amp. We don't really have a great place for an amp room to mic up cabinets and uh, really crank them. So a lot of the guitar players just use these kind of all-in-ones to get the sounds we need. Um, if you've seen my other video about the Tech 21 Fly Rig, that rig was really great, but I decided to change up because I wanted a little bit more functionality than that board had. If you're looking for something that's really small that you can literally throw in a backpack, I still think that was a great option, but this just really packed a lot of bang for the buck. And I got it and I've been really happy with it, so I just kind of wanted to share how I use it, let you guys know maybe a few of the tones I use out of it, and how you can customize this thing is pretty incredible. The app is pretty pretty awesome. Was a little bit not intuitive at first, but I got the hang of it pretty quick and was able to tweak it to my needs. So I'm sure if you've watched other videos on this pedal board, you know that there's a bunch of different banks you can go through, through these um, buttons right here. And then you can set up different presets per bank, so you have A, B, C, D. And how I did mine is I set up all of the top layer for my stomp boxes. Uh, that's how it's done. I used the same amp on the bottom layer, A, B, C, and D, just because I wanted to feel like a homogenous tone and you're not switching amps typically live unless you're playing with a stereo rig and have an AB switch. And I just wanted it to feel like I'm playing through one amp and these are my pedals. So I went ahead and set up my bank A as what I called my church main tone. It's literally just the amp with a little bit of compression and a little bit of drive from the amp. And then my second channel I set up and that is my church crunch tone. Basically I have it preset so that when I click that the compression comes on and the uh, it's kind of like a Ibanez tube screamer comes on so that just gives me a little bit of a boost. Then I go to channel 3. I set that up so that everything is driving just a little bit harder. I gave myself a little bit of a boost in the amp setting um, which is great because I didn't have to program in a boost pedal. I just, for this patch, turned up the amp a little bit. I left the compressor on, the tube screamer on, I left the, I had delay come on with this preset, as well as some reverb. So just really kicks it out in the mix. Then for the last channel, same amp tone, and I call this my church ethereal. This is in between, like, if the pastor's talking or praying and I just want to give him a little warmth behind him. I'll give you guys these sound samples in just a little, uh, just a few seconds here. But yeah, that one comes on with the compressor. Pretty much the compressor stays on for every patch. The, uh, that is a reverb, delay, and a... I don't remember what I have the blue one set to. It might be a chorus or something like that. But it's really nice, so let me give you guys these tones real quick.
that gives you guys a couple of ideas of tones and the way that I'm using it. Now I was just using my old Schecter Diamond Series Omen 6 uh, going direct into the board, direct out of the board into my uh, Tascam US 1800 Mobile Pre and um, yeah, it's it served me well. I don't have any of my main tones dialed in crazy because I'm doing a lot of rhythm when I'm leading and singing so I don't want to stand out too much. I threw in the middle tone at the end just so you guys can kind of get an idea of uh, maybe some of the built-in things. Like I said, the app's pretty intuitive. It took me a second to figure out how to get it to transfer to this uh, via the Bluetooth, but once I figured it out, it's really easy. Um, and I'm sure if you've used um, any digital modelers, you'll have no problem with this one, uh, especially if you've used like the HD 500. Uh, a couple of things I like about this one is you can actually play music through it wirelessly through the Bluetooth connection. So when we're in a practice and we're like, hey, how's that part go again? I just pulled up on my phone. It plays through the sound system right through the pedal. I've even set up pads on my phone and played it through this and led with like a light pad behind it. Um, I think my biggest complaint about this pedal has been the staggering between the FS1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the ABCD uh, pedals because when I go to change like just a stomp box, a lot of times I find myself hitting a uh, predefined user setting at the bottom, which originally I had just programmed everything under A and just was using foot pedals or uh, like to change the sounds. But since then, and then basically going to a preset that had no amp tone on it and it sounding awful. I decided to program it ABCD and uh, that way if I you know fat foot it a little bit it's not that big of a deal but I will say they could have staggered these a little bit higher um, just so that you're not fat footing some of these pedals the volume slash walks you can click down turn it into a walk click off of it and it's a volume uh, that works pretty well it's a little squeaky I've used it quite a few times and uh, sometimes it's squeaky sometimes it's not I don't know if it has to do with humidity or whatever, and I haven't looked in the user's manual to see if there's an easy way to get that squeak out. But so far, I have been super happy with this. I think I spent 350 on it. I ended up buying the Line 6 case for it, which was like another 50 bucks. So 400 bucks out the door, uh, not having to worry about stage volume, and actually getting some workable tones I think for the money this is a really good option so if you're trying to keep your stage volume down and not bring an actual amp and you're in on in-ears and things like that I think this is actually a pretty good option for the money I've been really pleased with it and um, I think uh, a lot of my other guitar players who use the HD 500 are like man I wish I had this um, instead and like I said, I think it's like 50 bucks cheaper. And so a couple of them have been thinking about switching to this um, just because of its ease of use, the tones I've gotten out of it, especially that um, that really heavy echoey that I work the volume pedal on a lot. So I've really enjoyed it. I hope this video helps you guys make your decision. And as always, you guys keep rocking.